Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Brittany. Today's video is really exciting because I think that I have finally found the best edible gold powder that compares to everybody's favorite non-edible brands. One of the most popular videos on my channel is my original gold paint review where I bought a bunch of gold dusts, like $200 worth, and I compared them all to each other and picked my top three favorites. If you haven't seen that video and want to, I will link it in this card and in the description below. So just a quick summary of that video. A lot of people are using gold powders and dusts that are technically not edible and serving those to customers. And once you know this, you'll start noticing it everywhere, like on social media. So just to review, if you see anything on a label other than edible, 100% food grade or like FDA approved, something like that, it or nothing at all, it most likely is not edible and it's made just for decoration, which is really confusing because they're like made by cake brands or pastry brands, but yet they're not edible. They're just for like decorative pieces on cakes or other things. So look out for phrases like non-toxic for decoration only. And of course, if it says inedible or anything like that, that's obvious. And if you're not sure, dig into the brand's website a little bit. If they're edible, they're going to want you to know that because it's a great selling point. So they'll probably make it pretty easy for you to figure out. Anyway, in my original video, I tested each gold um, on fondant. I painted it on fondant and I also dusted it and painted it on chocolate. So I'm going to do the same thing today. I will be comparing my top three brands from last time with three new brands that I bought for today. And this time I'll also be comparing those six brands to my favorite inedible brand, just to see how they hold up against the really, really nice inedible gold. And I got a couple questions last time. If you are wondering what the paint will look like on royal icing, gum paste, um, modeling chocolate, or even chilled buttercream, those will all look pretty much the same as they do on the fondant. Now, I know you haven't seen the results yet, but I've already picked out my favorite. So I'm going to give you just a little bit of information about it really quick. The brand is called Jenna Ray Cakes. They are located in Canada. Their dazzle dusts are made with 100% food grade ingredients and are edible, of course. They come in antique gold, rose gold, silver, and pearl. They also have edible glitters and some other fun things on their website and I have a discount code for you guys, which will get you 20% off anything on their website. And that discount code is Brittany20. And just so you know, I actually found their brand all on my own and I reached out to them, but they were kind enough to send me a free sample to test out today. Sadly, I didn't think to order the rose gold, silver or pearl because I just had gold on the brain. And I'm wishing I did so that I could have included those in today's video, but I'm definitely willing to order those and test them out for you guys if you're interested. So if you are, let me know in the comments and I can do that in a different video. All right, let's paint some things gold. All right, so I'm going to start with my top choice from my previous video and that was PCB Creation. Um, the bottle I used before I had purchased from Amazon actually, and we were a little iffy on whether or not it was edible, even though the description said edible, it kind of, there were a couple things that looked weird, but this brand PCB is a real brand. And I bought this new jar of it from a pastry school. So this one I'm for sure is trustworthy. And the Amazon one looks exactly the same as this. So I really do think that it was like everything was fine, but yeah, sometimes with Amazon, you know, I get the, the fear of it. <laughs> sometimes it can be sketchy. So I'm just going to put a scoop in my little palette. And for those of you who don't know, I like to make my paint with a little bit of 
lemon extract. Might be easier. I'm just going to put it in, oops, <laughs> in here as I splash. Um, I like lemon extract because it smells good. And the reason I use lemon extract is because it's high in alcohol. So it evaporates. Um, like you, if you use water, it, it will just sit there and it will take forever to dry. And it can also like damage the thing that you're painting. So um, you can also use vodka if you don't want to use lemon. And people always ask if it leaves a taste. It does leave like a slight hint of lemon, but it doesn't bother me. So yeah, I don't mind it. Okay, so I just mix it together like that. And I'm going to paint my first little slot here. Okay, the last brush was leaving some streaks, so I've, I'm going to switch to a round brush. I think it might work a little better. And I um, changed my filming setup a little bit so that the lighting was better, so you can actually see the shine as I'm painting. It's a little more interesting when you can actually see the shine. So I'm just doing a much thicker coat. I feel like the round brushes don't leave as much of, um, as much streaks. Yeah, the key I think is to let that first coat dry and then it kind of, the second coat goes on a lot smoother and thicker because it like sticks to the first coat, so. And um, this one is a lot more glittery than metallic and so, it can get kind of clumpy as well, but still nice. All right, now along with the fondant test, I'm also going to do a test on chocolate and I'm going to dust it on because sometimes it's nice to just dust chocolate. I also like to dust modeling chocolate sometimes and sometimes you like to paint on chocolate as well. Um, that includes like um, splattering the gold paint into molds and stuff. So how the paint looks is how it will look if you paint inside the mold and things like that. So I'll start with uh, the dusting and it's kind of hard to film this because the light is so bright and white that it's just like, it kind of like, blows out the chocolate. So I will do this like this, and if you can't see it that good yet, um, you'll be able to see it better later when I, um, it's better with movement. So I'll move it around for you, but I'm just gonna dust on quite a bit because sometimes with the dust, the more you add, the better. Um, and ignore the cooling streaks on the chocolate. <laughs> because it's such a big piece. It's really shiny, but it, yeah, it has cooling streaks. Okay, so that's the PCB. Now I'll move on to the next one. Um, in my last video, the um, Fancy Sprinkles one and the Bakel were a tie. I remember they looked super similar. So I'll just start with the um, Fancy Sprinkles one to show you what that looks like.
So that's how Fancy Sprinkles looks. And the next one is Bakel. Looks like this. Yeah, like the Fancy Sprinkles and Bake Hill, they are so close. They almost seem like they're the same powder. Um, I still need to get this one a second coat, but these two, they mix the same. They're the same when you paint them. The colors are so similar. Um, this one's a lot more glittery, like I said, and so it clumps up. These ones stay really smooth, which makes them really nice to paint. Okay, so those were my top three from last time. And so I have found and purchased two new ones since last video. One of them is the Amari Gishon from his pastry shop. Um, it's just his gold luster dust and I doubt he formulated this. He probably purchased some other brands maybe. Um, or maybe he formulated it, I don't know. And I'm trying to think, I don't even think I've ever tried it. So I'm adding this one just for fun. I don't, I don't think it's going to be one of the best, but I figured might as well throw it in here as a new review. Oh yeah, <laughs> I haven't. So let's mix it up and give it a try. It looks a lot lighter than the other ones, but it looks really pretty. More like an, a nice light gold color. Okay, so this one's really pretty. I did have a hard time like getting everything covered. It's still a little wet, but um, it's a lot, a little bit lighter than the others, a little bit of a different color. It's a really nice color. It probably would look really pretty on chocolate and we'll do that test as well. Um, but yeah, it's more of a glittery type and it clumps up a little bit, but still nice. All right, moving on to the next new one that I haven't ever tried before, and that's from Pastry Chef's Boutique, and it's just called the Gold Metallic Powder Color. And this is my first time trying this one as well. Hmm, this will be interesting. It doesn't look super sparkly and it looks kind of yellow, but we'll see. It mixed up smooth, so like the mixture is really smooth, but it also might go on pretty thin, but see how it does with the second coat. Okay, this one I'm having a hard time getting like even coat, even on the second one. Um, I don't know why that is, but. Hmm. 
Okay, so, so far all of the luster dusts have gone on really smooth during the dusting. The dusting is such like a nice, smooth, even coat. This one like is barely getting any luster to it. Like it just isn't leaving much gold. Whereas all the others, as soon as you dust them on, it like clings to the chocolate. The Amari Gashan one, is a little bit more glittery than like metallic. And the first one, the PCB one is also more glittery, but not as like opaque. The two middle ones, the um, Fancy Sprinkles and Bake Hell, those like dust on solid gold. They look really good and they like turn really metallic shiny. So they're great dusting ones. This, the Amari Gashan one is also a really pretty dusting one. This one, the Pastry Chef's Boutique, sadly, it's not leaving much behind. And I'm guessing it won't paint on that great either. Let's give it a try. All right, the moment I've been waiting for. It's time for the Generay Cakes Dazzle Dust. I have only dusted this on something. I haven't yet painted it, but look at the difference. Look at like, oh, sorry. The lighting is from the back so that these are, so you can't really see this. I'll do an up close shot of it, but the color is so much more gold than it is yellow, unlike some of these other ones. So I'm super excited to paint this. Look at that liquid gold. You can see how smooth it is when it blends. Like, how did they make this edible? <laughs> like, this looks like my inedible stuff. This is crazy. Like, look how smooth. And it's this smooth, it's probably going to go on, yep, so well. It almost looks green compared to these ones because now we're used to seeing like all the yellowy golds against this one. But look how smooth it goes on. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. You can tell just when you mix it that it's going to go on really smooth because, because of how smooth the, the paint is when you add the lemon. Like it covers so well. It doesn't leave streaks because it just blends. It's a couple blank spots up here. Let this dry and then do, um, then we'll do a second coat. Wow. Okay. This one's all done. It's a little wet still, but that's how it's looking so far. And yeah, I'm super impressed with that. It's so, it's so shiny and it painted on really well. Now this is perfect for dusting because remember it comes in this cute little shaker. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is so nice. Like see how when you dust the gold, it just, like it sticks and just, it clings to the chocolate and all you have to do is dust it and it's like so smooth. It doesn't leave any marks. It's so, Great, and this is a really pretty gold on this dark chocolate. It looks so good. I'm so excited about this. Now we'll paint it. Now painting just like a stripe on chocolate is always hard, but actually, cause usually it leaves streaks and this isn't really leaving streaks that painted on really well. Like if you compare it to this one before, it's really smooth. Wow, looks really nice. And we'll try the old splatter. These ones are also good with splatter. So really it just depends on what color is your favorite at this point. But this is such a nice, nice gold color. Next, 
just for comparison, for fun, I'm going to use my favorite inedible brand, which is Pastry Ideal. Um, but yeah, just a reminder, this one is not edible. This one is one of the non-toxic for decoration use only. But um, I just wanna throw it in the mix as like a comparison thing. See, um, I have a special palette for this one because this one stains. It like doesn't come off of things. So we'll mix that up and show you what it looks like. See how when you mix this one, it looks so smooth, like liquid gold, um, like the like this one did. It's like in texture, they're so similar, and like the shine, but the colors are going to be really different, which is interesting because like this is such a pretty gold, but <laughs> like all of them are pretty when you mix them by themselves, and then when you like compare them to each other, you realize how different they are in the actual color. It's really strange. Like compared to all these really yellow ones, this one almost looks like it's my bronze dust, which it's not, I just checked. <laughs> because it's like, yeah, it doesn't look as yellowy gold, but yeah, it's kind of crazy how different they can be. But you see them on their own and you're like, yeah, that's gold. And you compare them and you're like, wait, that one looks green, this one looks yellow, <laughs> this one looks bronze. Okay, so that's after the first coat. All right. And there is that one, all finished. It's still drying a little. And of course, I already know this one dusts on really well because it's what I've used before. Gotta get the balance of enough on the brush, but not too much. Yeah, this one is really smooth, just like the rest, but the color is a little more bronzy, I would say, compared to the others. But just as I suspected, it goes on so smooth. It looks really, really smooth and shiny. All right, so now it's time for the edible 24 karat gold leaf test, which I did in the last video because it it does a nice job of like showing you like, I don't know, kind of like a standard gold color. And then it's easy to compare which paints match the best and like how far off, like which one's a little bit green, which one's a little bit orange or yellow or bronze. So it's kind of fun to do. And sometimes I actually use edible gold leaf and edible powders for like the same project. Um, if it's something that I'm working on that like, I yeah, I just use both. So it's nice for those specific ones that maybe you would choose to use the gold that matches the gold leaf so that they don't like clash.
All right, let's just do a quick summary. I'm maybe everyone's already decided what their favorites are. Um, let's see where to begin. Just like last time in my other video, we did the fancy sprinkles and the bake hell. Those are the closest in color, I think, to the <clears throat> sorry <laughs> to the 24 karat gold leaf. Um, but I'm actually thinking when you tilt it, it's a toss up between the new one that I like, um, the Genere Cakes brand, and actually the Amari Gishon one. I thought it was too light, but it actually, it matches the gold leaf pretty good. So honestly, I think it just boils down to what's your preference in color? All of them are really good. Don't take into account the non-edible one, of course. And that one doesn't match the gold leaf at all, but it is just like a great paint. Um, the pastry chef's boutique one is like, it like has too much yellow food coloring in it or something. It's really dull. It's like the only one that doesn't shine when I hit it with the light and the color's way off. So I would say for the 24 karat gold test, I actually think now that I'm looking at the colors, these are too yellow. I actually think the Amari Gashan, the new, one of the new ones I tried, and also the Genere Cakes one, come the closest to the gold leaf. And besides that, if you're not using gold leaf, it doesn't need to match gold leaf to make it a good paint. Um, I still think that the Genere Cakes one's win, one wins. Um, the paint was super smooth. It was less glittery than the Amari Gashan one. When there's more glitter, it clumps up a lot more. The first one, the PCB, is a pretty glittery powder, um, which can be really pretty on chocolates and stuff because it has sparkle. So it just depends on what you're looking for. It's also a really orange gold, and these ones are really yellow golds. This one's a lot lighter, more like a champagne gold, but the Genere Cakes one is like a nice neutral gold. And compared to the non-edible Pastry Ideal brand, it actually looks more gold. And I would have thought, because this has always been my favorite, that this is like the standard, but it actually looks a lot more copper than I realized. So anyway, I'm really curious what one you guys like the best. Um, it's all kind of personal preference, but I'm really happy with um, this one. And I think it's my new favorite gold. Well, not I think, I know. But you know, there, I do still feel like there's always a use for different brands. It just depends on what, what your project is, you know? So, but yeah, I'm really satisfied. Now let's review the chocolate. It is so hard to film chocolate. I hope that I did a decent job. I'm taking lots of different shots and angles and different lighting for you guys. <laughs> it's just so hard to, when you're not here in person to see it, but like as I'm looking against the light, I can tell you that the ones that brushed on the best were the Fancy Sprinkles Bake Hell, the non-edible obviously, and the Genere Cakes. The Genere Cakes one has a more gold color, whereas these two on the top are more of a yellow color, especially against the chocolate. Um, you notice it for sure more against the chocolate than the fondant, I think. But it brushed on so smooth and like, it just like, it sticks to the chocolate and like, it just, it's so shiny. And then the paint, the, like I said, the glittery ones, this one, the first one and the fourth one, sorry, I'm like recalling the brands right away is hard. PCB and the Amari Gashan one, they're more of a glittery paint. And so um, they're harder to get like a really smooth, even coverage on the chocolate. Um, the Pastry Chef's Boutique, just throw it out. It's like, <laughs> don't buy it, sad. I thought it was gonna be good, but it really wasn't. Um, the Genere Cakes one go, went on so good. And, oh, I gotta hide my face maybe. I don't know if it'll focus. It went on so good. The coverage is amazing and the paint was so smooth. Like as far as textures in the paint and you saw on the camera that like liquid gold look when you mix the lemon extract with it, it looks like an inedible one. 
I don't know how they make it, <laughs> but it's really good. And then of course the, the gold splatter that I splashed on is really nice. It just has that same nice gold color. And so, yeah, I would stick with my, these, well, this one ended up being my favorite choice in the last video, but these two are kind of rising to the top, I think because of the color and also the coverage for the chocolate. But definitely this one wins for me on the chocolate as well. Like it has all the good qualities of the edible kinds, so a little bit glittery, but then it also has the good qualities of the inedible brand, <laughs> which is like the shine, the like, that metallic look that most edible ones are missing. So yeah. Um, you might have a different favorite between the fondant and the chocolate, and I'm curious. So comment down below your overall favorite, and if it's different in each category, tell me your favorite on the fondant and also your favorite on the chocolate. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and that you found it helpful. I'd love to know which edible gold dusts are your favorite, so please comment them down below. If you love the gold dazzle dust as much as I do, don't forget to use my code BRITTANY20 for 20% off. Just click the link in the description box below to find out where to buy that. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, today's the day. If you'd like to see something else that's sweet, just click on one of these thumbnails. Thanks so much for watching today, and I'll see you soon. Bye.